Welcome to Cheap Controls. We make videos on things that we struggled with, hoping to help you so you don't. Consider subscribing and hitting that bell. In this video, I'm going to go over binary versus binary coded decimal, or BCD. When the data comes back from the runtime clock or from other devices, it, sometimes it comes back as binary coded decimal. So I thought this could be a little quick video before I get into a runtime clock video, just to help people if they question what BCD is. Binary is just like any other numbering system. Once you run out of the number of digits, like decimal, once you hit nine, you just move over one place to the left and you add a one and then you start counting again. And then that counts up until you run out and again. Binary is the same way. You go zero, one, you add a number, move one over to the left, one, zero. And you just keep counting up. There are two other numbering systems, one called octal, which has eight characters, zero through seven, and then there's hex, which has 16 characters, 0 through F. And they all work the same way. I drew them on here just so that um, I could show uh, the reason why you use binary coded decimal. When it comes to hex and octal and binary, they all kind of work together. If you want to convert binary to octal, you just break it up into sets of three. So you can see when it hits seven, it's hit the three ones. And then when it goes to this one over here, zero, zero, then you have the one zero in octal, which is eight. And that's the same in binary, it's the same in decimal, and it's the same in hex. And then you just start over again. And then when you get down here to the ones again, and then you would look at the next three over here. So you'd have two, zero, and you can see these zeros. So octal's pretty nice because you can just break your binary up into sets of three. Hex also works that way, but you break it up into sets of four. You can see when I get down to the F, I have four ones. And then when I go to the one, the next set of four over here, which would be over here, if I want, I could, a lot of people add the three zeros onto the end and then put a space in here just to make it easier to count. And then this would count up and this would be this digit right here. But all three of these numbers are the same. It's still 16. This is 16 in octal, 16 in decimal, and 16 in hex. But when it comes to decimal, it doesn't break up into binary very well. It takes some manipulation to figure out what you want to display. So what some people do, and companies and devices, they use something called binary coded decimal. And what it does is it breaks it makes two bytes or two nibbles because they're four bits in one byte and it breaks it up and it has one side is for the first character and the other side is for the second character. If you had a third character you could add a nibble but for this example we're just going to have two. And what happens is you count from zero to nine and then you'll see when we get to ten it moves over to here. When in reality this would be 16. In BCD, this is 1, 0, and then 1, 1, and 1, 2, and so forth. And when you get down to 20, 2, 0, when it should be 1, 0, 1, 0, 0 in binary, 24 in octal, 20 in decimal, 14 in hex, but in BCD, it's 2, 0. And in some cases it makes this simpler, and in some cases it makes it more complicated because you have to do some math then when it comes in because it's gonna look like, it's not gonna look like 20 to the Arduino. When the Arduino gets it, this bit would be 16 and this bit would be 32. So the Arduino is gonna read that as 32 when really the value you want is 20. So what the, there are a couple very simple math equations you can use to convert binary coded decimal to decimal. But what's interesting is that both of them involve 16 when you're just dealing with a byte. Because if you divide your byte by 16, it will, it will move your data over four bytes and just delete the rest. So when you divide it by 16, you get the first byte of data. So if we go back down to that 20, we're left with one zero, which is two. The other interesting thing is if you take the modulus of 16, which is the remainder, 
then you get the other side of it. I'll show it to you in an example. First of all, you must be dealing with integers or bytes. You can't be using floats for this. If you use floats, it just won't work because you'll have the decimal point and it won't uh, work out the way you want. But if we have the BCD value of 29, which if you were to just read it on the Arduino, it would be 41. But instead, if you take that value and you divide it by 16, you're left with two, because it makes that two. And then you multiply it by 10, you get 20. And then you add the modulus, which would be 16 modulus this number, which is gonna give you the remainder of nine. If you add it to it, 20 plus nine, you get 29. So if you take this value and you run it through this equation, the Arduino will then change it to 29. And then you can do the opposite down here to take a decimal to a BCD number. So if we have the decimal 57 and we want to convert it to 57, which would really be 87, we just take the value 57 and we divide it by 10, which is going to knock the 7 off and it's going to make it 5. And then we multiply it by 16, which is going to place it over here, and it's going to leave zeros on this side. But then we just add 7, we get 5 and 7, which the Arduino then is going to read out as 87. But then you can transmit it as binary coded decimal to whatever device it is that you're working with. I'm going to pull this up in the Arduino now, and hopefully it will make more sense when you see an example. For this example, I have a delay. Let's knock this down so we see it a little bit quicker for every two seconds. So I have my BCD to decimal, where I take my value, divide it by 16 times 10, and then I add the modulus of that value. And that will convert the value from a binary coded decimal to decimal. Then I have another function down here that does the opposite. It takes that value, divides it by 10. In other words, strips off that second digit multiplies it by 16 to put it in a value, and then we add that other value back in. And then if you watched my last video, I have a uh, function here that prints in binary. So it'll take that value, whether it be, a, in this case, it'll be a byte, and it will print it out uh, one bit at a time. I'll put a link to it up in the upper right-hand corner for that particular video. And we're gonna go ahead and create an integer call it BCD, and we'll make it 41. So we want it to look in binary like that, because that would be a four and then a one, when in reality, it would look more like this number in binary. And we'll go ahead and run it all ways just so you can see um, what I'm talking about. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna print binary BCD. And then we'll put in a serial print line just to break it up. And then we're gonna do another print binary. But we're gonna convert, we're gonna convert this decimal 41 to binary to BCD. So first we're just going to print the BCD and then we're going to print it after we've converted it and then we'll need another one of these. And you can see what we have is we have 00101001, which is what we should have, because this is what 41 equates to. Make it so you can see it all. This is what it equates to when it's left alone, which is this right up here. But we wanted it to appear as this. And you can see that it converts to this. And if we had a space in there, which I don't have for the display, but you would see 0100 and then 0001. So it works just as we would expect. And what we do is we simply take the 41 and we divide it by 10, which leaves 4. 
and then we multiply it by 16 which then moves it to 4, 4 spaces over to the left. And then it also creates the first 4 spaces in that byte of data as zeros. Then we add the modulus of the 41 times 10 which is just going to give us the remainder of 1. Now we're going to assign a hex value and we'll, we'll convert it the other way. We'll just call this BCD2, I guess. We're going to make it equal to 0 times 77. Seven. So this is going to store it as hex. This will create it somewhat like BCD, but not really because I could also put A's in there and BCD wouldn't want an A, wouldn't want an actual hex value. But I'm going to leave it 77 for now because it's going to create it as 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. And then we're going to do the same steps that we did up here. Oh, except for I think I want this below this. And I'm going to add a little spacer. Go ahead and we'll grab everything there. So we'll have another spacer when we're done. But we need to add two onto this. Two onto this. But in this case, we want to go BCD to decimal. I also want to show you that this isn't actually 77. So we'll go ahead and we'll go serial value is not 77 and then we'll add see, stretch this out a little bit so we're gonna print this we're storing it as a hex but then we're just gonna print it as a decimal but then we're going to print it and you'll see that it's in, it's 7 and a 7 in what would be considered binary coded decimal. But we want to turn that 7, 7 into the decimal 7, 7. And we're going to do that right here. In this case it is, it should be 7, 7 because we're going to convert it. So I hope that makes sense, but just to recap, we've got the old one in here, but in this case, we're gonna set it to a hex value of 77, and then we're gonna print it as the decimal value, which you'll see that it isn't 77. Then we can convert it to the binary coded decimal and print it out because we're going to convert it to the decimal, 77. And then we've got these where we're going to print it in binary. So if there's a problem, hopefully we can figure out where that problem is. Oh, but I have an error. Oh, I forgot my... Oh, editor's going to ding me on that one. And you can see that the value is not 77. 119 but it really is in binary coded decimal because you would break this in half and you'd have a 7 on this side and a 7 on this side but then we convert it into what the binary is for 77 through our algorithm and then the value is 77 so in this video I went over binary and BCD and the differences between the two and the fact that BCD is built out of binary but it stops at nine right here, and then it goes back to zero because it's binary coded decimal, so it only equates to decimal numbers, zero through nine. And then I also went through how to convert it between binary and decimal in a simple little function in the Arduino using this, this equation right here. And the main reason I'm doing this is because my runtime clock video is coming up and I'm going to use the runtime clock without any library, and the data that comes from that chip is in binary coded decimal. So I hope this helps for other things too. Well, that's about it for this video. If you like what you saw, consider giving me a thumbs up, and also consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.